Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. Have you ever hurried to get to a restaurant in time for your reservation? Have you ever been to a restaurant with an amazing scenic view? And have you ever left a restaurant picking your teeth? Well, in 1877, the woodblock print artist Toyohara Kunichika depicted these relatable events in a series called 36 Modern Restaurants. It's one of my favorite series because it provides a snapshot of the restaurant business back in Tokyo 140 years ago. And I love Japanese food. We're going to explore some of Kunichika's 36 designs from this series. But first, some quick backstory. These prints are a great example of the collaboration between artists, publishers, and business. Basically, a publisher, in this case, Takekawa Sekiichi would go to a popular restaurant owner and say something like, I'm producing an exclusive set of prints on the hottest restaurants in Edo, illustrated by one of our top artists. Do you want to be a part of it? If they accepted, then Kunichika would design an attractive woodblock print incorporating the interior or exterior of the restaurant and even include some of the restaurant's proprietors or uh, geishas or entertainers. This uh, type of arrangement wasn't unusual. Other woodblock artists like Hiroshige, Kuniyoshi, and Kunisada had previously created restaurant-themed series. But in my opinion, Kunichika's series has the most true-to-life scenes that really represent the restaurant culture at that time. So let's dive into some of my favorite prints, starting with people going to restaurants. This is Shimayaso restaurant in Shitaya Hirokoji. On the left, we see a couple dressed for the evening, hurrying towards the restaurant, the hostess welcoming them. Note the details, the use of perspective in the architecture that gives us the feeling of depth, the details on her kimono and on the bag her companion is carrying, the very natural expressions on their faces, there's not much writing on these prints except for the print title, the artist's signature, and the names of the well-known geishas or entertainers. Another print that I think is interesting is this one of a couple hurrying to a restaurant in a rickshaw. The restaurant is off in the distance under the bridge. The pleasure boat below is probably bringing customers to the restaurant. The runner or driver of the rickshaw is mostly out of frame. We can just see his back and foot. The moon is in the sky, casting shadows on the bridge. The man looks serious as he holds his bag and lantern while his partner looks towards him. Fun fact, rickshaws were invented in Japan in 1869, and the word comes from the Japanese word jin riksha, or human-powered vehicle. Here is a print of a couple going to the Yaomatsu restaurant in Makurabashi. This ferry probably dropped them off. We can see the footprints of their geta in the snow. I believe she is wearing yuki geta, which were warm geta for the cold. They even had metal spikes on the bottom so you wouldn't slip. The couple is well dressed in multiple layers with a snow covered umbrella. The restaurant is in the background, and here is an actual photo of it from the 1900s. And the last going to a restaurant print I'll show you is this one of Yautzen restaurant at Sanya. This was considered one of the best restaurants in the city. It became the place where different strata of society met, the unlicensed geishas, the wealthy merchants, and the aristocracy. Here we see two geisha arriving at the entrance, each with beautiful kimonos. And off to the left, we see someone holding a bag for them. Now let's take a look at some of the activities that go on inside the restaurant, where the staff and entertainers get ready for their customers. This is Yoshicho restaurant in Jiten. Here we see an entertainer getting ready, trying on different kimonos, while another geisha climbs up the stairs to the second level. In the distance, we can see a garden with a fountain. In the Kitsune restaurant in Shinbashi, we see two geisha preparing the flower displays. 
you can see the tools she's been using for trimming the arrangement. At Kawanaga restaurant in Asakusa, we see two shamisen players getting ready to entertain customers. Look at the beautiful view from this balcony. And at the Kagetsuro restaurant in Shimbashi, we see two geisha selecting which hanging scrolls to display. Since these were the best restaurants in Edo, they usually had a scenic view or notable garden or both. Here are some prints that show the environs of these restaurants. This is Daishichi restaurant in Imado. We see three women relaxing in the warm evening. You can see they have their fans out. The fans have the name of the restaurant imprinted on them. There's a beautiful view of the Sumida River with a full moon hanging in the evening sky. By the way, when this was printed, the moon was probably done in a metallic silver ink, but over time it's oxidized and it's lost its sheen. At the Baisa restaurant in Kubomachi, we see three geisha on a snowy balcony looking down at the view. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's a shaved ice dessert shaped like a rabbit that she's holding. Once again, look at the detail. Not only the architecture, but the kimonos and the snow-covered garden below. This is a beautiful evening scene of the Hirase restaurant in Fukagawa. It has an outdoor patio and you can see fireflies in the garden. The Seiyoken restaurant in Ueno Park has more of a European style outdoor dining experience with chairs and tables. This restaurant opened in 1876 as one of the first Western styled restaurants specializing in French cuisine. You can still go there today. And on their website, it says, at the time, almost no Japanese people had ever tasted beef and Western food was extremely unusual. But after the founding of Seiyoken, French cooking came to be widely loved by the people of the Meiji era. Now we've had a wonderful evening being entertained and served amazing food, and it's time to head home. Here are some prints from the series on that theme. This is Isegen restaurant in Shibaguchi. We see two geisha and a man holding a lantern leaving the restaurant late in the evening. Once again, we can see the detailed kimonos, their purses tucked into their obi as the two women are saying goodbye. One of them is picking her teeth with a toothpick. In this print of the Tomoeya restaurant at Yanagibashi, it's raining outside and the geisha is leaving the restaurant and opening her umbrella. The man holding the lantern is probably waiting to escort her home. In this print, we see two geisha leaving Uoju restaurant in Miyoshimachi. I assume they've had a wonderful meal because this one is picking her teeth and the other is lying down in a food coma. And I saved my favorite print till last. This is restaurant Sho Eiro at Shimbashicho. There's a lot going on in this scene. First, look at the architecture. It's got a complex exterior and interior layout with multiple screens and partitions constructed of different types of materials, plus the decorative accents. We have the hostess kneeling at the door, bidding her guests goodbye. You can see the man at the front is wearing a Western style hat, followed by the two women in detailed kimonos. This type of scene is not something you'd get from more traditional woodblock series. I think this series really gives us a window into dining culture and society in Edo. I've only shown you about half of the prints in this series, and you can see the full collection on our website. We also have some of these prints for sale. We have several other videos and blogs on restaurant prints by various artists if you want to learn more. Until next time, eat well, please like and subscribe, and happy collecting.